Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm here to show you the arm workout. And this is part of the overall workout that I did to kind of improve my body over the last probably five months. Uh, it's a weight workout and the arms are just dumbbells so it makes it really convenient because all you need is a set of dumbbells, any weight that feels comfortable. I am using tens, but you need to use a weight that you can do eight to 10 reps comfortably and you really want to get to exhaustion on these exercises. So if you do eight and you think you can do a ninth, do it because that gives you little micro tears in the muscle that help you build strength. So it's a really good thing to work to exhaustion. Okay, let's start with biceps. Here we go. And to do these exercises, knees slightly bent and put your elbows into your body and you're just going to bring the weights up. One, down, two, down three, down, down, down. Keep arms in. I think we're at five, seven, eight. My husband's counting for me. Nine, 10. You can go up to 12 and I think I'll do 12, 11, 12. Ooh, that feels good. Now we're going to do the same exercise. They call these hammer curls, and this is for the delts. Okay, here we go. One, two, again, elbows in. Three, four, five, six, woo, seven, eight. I think I can do one more. Nine, I think I'll go to 10. 10, whoa, that was to exhaustion for sure. And once you finish the biceps, you can give yourself a minute or two of rest, and then you go into the triceps, and here they are. And again, you're going to keep your elbows tight into your body. You're going to bend over from the hips, bend your knees, bend over, and keep a flat back. And so you're just going to lift the weight like this. One, two, Hold it a little bit at the top, six. Ten, I think I can do 12. 11, 12. Okay, that's the first part of the triceps exercise. You can rest here if you want, but usually I go right on through into the next one. And basically what you're going to do is assume the same position you're going to bend over with flat back, and then you're just going to lift the weight and just go up, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! That really burns those bat wings, and I guess that's the whole idea. Okay, the next exercise we're going to do is also a tricep exercise, and it would take just a few moments rest here. Okay, this next tricep exercise is a tricep kickback, kind of a combo move. And here it is. And again, you're going to assume that same position, knees bent, bend at the hips and back straight. And you're just going to go back, in, back, down. Back, in, back, down. Back, in, back, down. Back, in, elbows in, back, down. Back, in, back, down, back, in, back, down. These hurt. Back, in, back, down, back, in, back, down, back, in, back, down, back, in, back, down. I lost count. I don't know how many that was, but again, go eight to 10. And when you get to where you can do 10 easily, then go up to the next weight. Okay, this is the last exercise and it is again a tricep one. And you're going to take a slightly heavier weight than on the other triceps exercises. And then you just put the weight over your head and you put your hands in kind of a triangle. It's kind of hard with a heavier weight. You're going to tie your elbows in by your ears and you're just going to go down, up, down, up. And you're going to kind of squeeze when you get up. So we're gonna do eight to 10. Whew, here we go. One, two, 
three squeeze, four squeeze, five squeeze, six squeeze, seven squeeze, eight squeeze, nine squeeze, 10 squeeze, I think I'll do another couple, 11 squeeze, woo, 12 squeeze, woo. Wow, that really works at the bat wings. And that is the whole idea that when we build the triceps muscles, that it keeps us from having that kind of a waving in the wind kind of thing, really helps with the bat wings. Okay, that was a look at my arm exercises that I've been doing for the past five months. And just to tell you, if you want to use these arm exercises along with my full body workout, that is a two-part video, and I'll link part one below, which is hips, thighs, lower body. And the results on my butt using that workout have been phenomenal. And I'll show you these pictures again of the before and the after. I'm almost embarrassed because the before looked so bad. Definitely a total case of old lady butt. But now look how tight and toned I am. I'm not perfect and you know, we never will be perfect, especially at our more grown up age. I am 62 years old, so you can't expect perfection, but it does really help how you look and how you feel and how you're going to age gracefully into your second half. And one more thing, if you want to incorporate these arm exercises in with that lower body workout, basically I do the lower body workout Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I do the arms exercises on Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, that is a look at what I'm doing currently to keep my arms in pretty good shape. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things you think, I will say, things to keep us looking and feeling our best in our second half, I hope you'll hit that subscribe bell. Also, please give this video a like because apparently that helps my videos be seen more often, which I really appreciate. Okay, at this point in my video, I usually read from a thought for the day card and I don't have them down here today, but I guess my thought for the day is, and I've been really thinking about this recently, I started really working out with weights extremely consistently on about January 20th of 2020, which was five months ago, and I have realized that as we get to be more grown up, if we want to stay as healthy as we can and as good looking as we can, we really just have to put more effort into it than we did when we were younger. For instance, in my 20s and 30s, I could go through every fast food known to man, eat that, do a few workouts a week, and really look pretty good. Unfortunately, now that I am on the other side of 60, it is not that easy, but again, it doesn't take two hours in the gym or anything like that. It just takes a dedicated program and doing it consistently every day. I do my weight workout Monday through Friday, and on the weekends, I either rest or do a little bit on the elliptical, but it is not that hard, but you do need to be consistent. And we really have to be thoughtful in our second half about how we want to look and feel and how we want the aging process to be. Because when we really do that, when we really think about it and we do a few simple things, we can really truly have a more wonderful aging experience. We're at 90, we're still happy, healthy, and vital. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.